Hey, what's happening? Nick Martinez, the Keto Dad here, and tonight we use the Instant Pot to make meatballs. I mean, check these out. We've got a meatball here and a meatball here. They look delicious. It was really easy to do. The meatballs are gonna be fantastic, I just know it. You can put them on top of uh, zoodles, you can, put, you can eat them however you want, but let's just say that I have never made homemade meatballs before, and this was a piece of cake. You're gonna wanna check this out. Can't say I've ever made homemade meatballs, so this is a first experience for me, but it doesn't look too bad. I've got a pound and a half of ground beef. This is grass-fed organic ground beef. I've already got a half pound in there. Let me get the other pound out. Now what we're gonna do is just start adding all of our ingredients to this, and then we're gonna hand mix. So we've got three-fourths cup of Parmesan cheese. That's delicious. We've got a half cup of almond flour. Yum, yum. And then I'm gonna add in two eggs. One and two. All right. And then I'm also gonna add in a whole bunch of seasoning. So in here I've got oregano, I've got parsley, I've got garlic powder, onion powder, and I also have black pepper and salt. And I'm just gonna push this in here. Now is where the fun begins. I'm just gonna kind of stir all of the non-meat ingredients. In fact, Water. I think if I were to do this first, I would have just mixed all the everything but the meat first and then put the meat in, but it's gonna work out. I've also got a third cup of warm water. So kind of a lot of ingredients, but the way I see it is they're all spices, they're all things that are gonna give it really good flavor and really good taste. Uh, so now the fun begins. Now, if you don't like touching meat, this is not gonna be fun for you. <laughs> That's why I'm doing this and not my wife, because she does not enjoy touching ground beef. I'm the hamburger maker here. But uh, just mix it all together, and pretty soon you'll have your meat concoction that we'll be able to make our meatballs out of. Woohoo! I managed to get it all mixed together really well with just a fork, which is wonderful. Now it's time to get the hands dirty. And the recipe says make uh, balls out of this mixture that are about two inches in diameter. So don't need to be super huge, but big enough that they're, so, they're hearty, right? And you're just gonna do this with all of the ground beef. Ooh, it actually smells with all the seasoning that we put in there with the uh, oregano and the salt and pepper and garlic and onion. Like they smell really, really good. I'm, I'm kind of excited to try this. Always fun to have a new Insta Pot, instant pot recipe. I gotta get used to saying that. Do you, if you have an instant pot, uh, throw something in the comments below. Take a picture of yours with a big smile on your face. Um, we're always looking, uh, we, I know we've gotten a lot of your guys' favorite recipes and we're trying some of them, but uh, keep, keep on sharing. We're gonna be using this thing uh, like crazy, get some good use out of it. So I would love to see what else you guys are making. All right, I've got all the meatballs ready to go. It actually said make 15, and guess what? I feel pretty special. I actually made exactly 15 without even counting. So I guess my uh, little uh, two idea of what a two inch diameter was was perfect. Now what I'm gonna do, it's, it's early in the day, it's only uh, noon right now, so we're not gonna eat these until dinner. And because we have an Instapot, we don't have to put them in the crock pot all day, so we're gonna stick them in the fridge now that they're made, and this will allow us tonight when chaos ensues with the girls, uh, we'll be able to just pull this out, throw it in the Instapot, put the marinara sauce in there, and bam, we have dinner. All right, it's time to cook these things. They've been sitting in the fridge most of the day. Um, we've got our Instant Pot out. Now this is a manual recipe. It's not one of the presets from the Instant Pot, so we're just gonna have to work with that a little bit. The recipe calls for just a teaspoon of olive oil, Along the bottom, maybe just a tad more than that. All right, and now, um, I'm actually just gonna take this off and kind of swirl that olive oil a little bit. Get it to, uh, to coat a little bit more. Probably not a huge deal. It's all gonna get mixed together anyways, but that's just a good start. Now, I'm gonna start to layer my meatballs and try to give them a little bit of space according to the recipe, but I'm not sure how that's gonna actually work out. We'll do our best. Okay, we've got our meatballs layered in there now. What's kind of funny is they all settled on the plate, so they got a little bit fatter and it wasn't gonna fit. So I just flipped them on their sides and look at that, I got them all to fit. It's gonna be awesome. 
I'm gonna take three cups of marinara sauce. I've got my favorite, my Raus. Raus. Uh, marinara sauce, we got one cup, two cups. So delicious. Three cups. All right. Got the last one in there. Okay, now I'm going to spread that a little bit just kind of to even it out. Mmm. Smells, smells delicious. Thinking it's going to be delicious. We shall see. Only time will tell. All right, take my. Uh, where are we at here? Find the front. There it is. There we go. Turn it. It won't be noisy, Julia. <laughs> Kiddo's afraid of it. Pressure level we're going to hit. Maybe. Um, meat. meat. Pressure level. Low. Ten minutes. And we're going to go to 10 minutes and then start. There we go. That easy. Let's see what happens. All right, 10 minutes is up. We're going to go ahead and vent this. Oh, looks like it's already vented out. It was on a low pressure. Okay, the moment of truth. We're going to open this sucker up and see. Ooh, looks like we might have done okay. It's definitely cooking. Let me get a spoon thing. Here we go. I can ladle a meatball. Let's see how we did. Huh? Oh, I think we might have done all right. Look at that. It's looking cooked. Let me get a plate. I can just cut it open and see. Let me get a plate and a knife. All right. Look at that. I mean, it looks like a legit meatball. Let's cut it in half. Oh, Perfect. looks pretty well cooked too. All right. I think it's, uh, we've got ourselves a winner here. Let me get a fork. I'm gonna let it cool down just a second and we're gonna give it a try. Okay, so they look delicious. We just cut this one open a second ago. It's cooled down. Let's go ahead and try it. Mmm. That was pretty darn, darn good. It's not dry. Uh, it tastes good. You can eat it over a bed of like zoodles. You can mix it with some zucchini that you cut up. You can do whatever you want for the noodles. You could even over eat it over like cauliflower rice. This is pretty darn good. You wanna try some, Juliana? So once again, we found a super simple, fun keto recipe. And now this Instapot, it strikes again because the Instapot is making it just super simple and fun. I'm sorry, it's all over your face. There we go. Even the keto baby likes it. So with that, post a comment if you make it below. If you have any tweaks or things you do differently, share. And remember, just keep it simple, keep it fun, keep it keto. Have an awesome night.